afternoon. My name is Georgie Roberts. I'm here on behalf of the South African Equestrian Federation here at the FEI and General Assembly 2022, the first time it's been held in South Africa. Very exciting. Jean-Philippe, you are the director of FEI Solidarity. Yes, and FEI Solidarity is a department uh, who acts as a development department for FEI. Uh, we work on the ground. Uh, we try to transform and to move in action uh, your vision and the vision of the different national federation in terms of development. That's fantastic. What does it mean for countries like South Africa from a development and transformation in fact, uh, I know well South Africa because I had a chance to, to work with and for your riders in your country in eventing. I have lots of good friends in South Africa and say hello, <laughs> Graham and my friend. Uh, of course, um, South Africa is not for us really a developing country because South Africa I know is a big Christian country. I know you have more than 300,000 sport and, and, and race horses. You have lots of full-time jobs in this country oh. on the uh, horse industry. Yes. In Africa, you can speak about all industry. That's why for us, South Africa is not really a developing country. We classify South Africa in reinforcement country because, unfortunately, due to the African Ox sickness, it's extremely complicated for you to compete out of Af the zone of Af South Africa. But definitely, your level inside is very high. And the level national and international level is really high and important. Now, uh, our action for South Africa are more oriented uh, on the education, complement of education, ongoing education for coach. We realize a very strong job on the ongoing education for a very good coach. And you have, you're very lucky because you have in South Africa lots of very good coach. And it's important for you to know that. It's important for us because we are very happy. Regarding the sport development, um, it was also not uh, a mistake if your your uh, super uh, rider Thomas uh, won the US Equestrian Games wonderful. because um, Dominic Alexander, the coach, and, and uh, prepared very nicely the guy. We follow him, and uh, it was not a surprise for us to see uh, your rider on the top of the top and fighting with the best junior in the world, fighting against American, North American riders, South American, European riders. He was on the level. And I appreciate, I'm very proud to him, and you can be proud to him because he realized a fantastic performance. Regarding the sport, we can also help with development of certain disciplines. For example, it's definitely um, we support vaulting development. We, we want to support more and more. In vaulting uh, was on a high level. In, I remember in 2010 in Lexington, we have a team on the World Championship. Uh, your goal is to again uh, attempt again and we start to reach the goal to be on the top of the discipline. Driving also, because I know you have a lot of points to see by driving. And with the new FEI World Challenge, I received a very nice information and the president said, I'm very interested to develop driving again Absolutely. and to have in, in South Africa a sport driving, and sport and driving competition. Endurance on a very hard level for us is not direct goal because you have this level. Uh, regarding eventing, we will be very happy to, to restart a program in eventing for, for South Africa because you have amazing horses, have amazing cross-country plays, and your riders are absolutely fan of, of uh, cross-country mm -hmm. and, and uh, eventing. But eventing need um, more um, more a change. Uh, eventing to, 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 to develop uh, eventing uh, team the team need to grow in different country, in different competition, okay. because it's not possible in the same bubble to develop everything. To develop everything, you need to compete out of. Uh, it needs to be based internationally. Yeah, that's why it's very important for us to have a regional project. And with the new FIA World Challenge in eventing, we hope to interest more Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, to really develop a regional eventing challenge circuit of competition. One, two, three, stop. Fantastic. We'll this is a little bit of a program. Uh, regarding an important program also, as you learned this morning, uh, we start also a biosecurity education program. I think uh, this type of education program are definitely uh, important for, for uh, the region, not just for South Africa, to help also to cross the border. Because I know one of the major difficulties is to cross borders, to go from one Southern African country to another one, to cross the border for Namibia, for Botswana, for Zambia. And the, the, the hub, the, the, the sport uh, in sport is Africa. But now 
uh, it's important to develop a change the system for the rider, for the horse, for the industry, for the horse business. It's very important to expand also this knowledge and this activity. And we try every day to make a, a, a vision in action to make possible is fortunately uh, we have a fantastic world network Fantastic Absolutely. team around you the world. You seem to have a really fantastic team. We have a fantastic team. South African uh, coach and, and tutors yes. in. We have uh, Graham Wynn, we have Natalia Obde, uh, we have uh, really, really top people, Leslie Mawene. We have a really, really good person in South Africa. And, Very uh, exciting for us to I, think, I would like to thank you again to all these people because they help a lot our development and the development of the region. Tell me about the biosecurity uh, course that you're doing. How do people access these courses if they're interested in doing them? The biosecurity education program is really oriented for the, um, the professional on the ground uh, in charge to manage a, an important stable or in charge to manage an important event because the content of the biosecurity education program is really oriented to improve the, the key uh, of the control of biosecurity in one stable, a big stable where you will receive eventually a host or like a, a host dealer or like a big riding school and or of course an event organizer who will regularly receive horses from uh, the region from other country eventually Hopefully. And, and that is really oriented for this. Uh, the second step of this program will be uh, an F, the creation of an FEI event stable manager to really support uh, from biosecurity to stable manager education program, the, the specialization for FEI event stable manager. Fantastic. What's coming next for Solidarity in 2023? 2023, uh, two important programs is again a paradressage, step, uh, paradressage sorry, um, event. In fact, with the paradressage committee, we start the FEI World Challenge in paradressage. But it will be a little bit uh, different than the other challenge because the FEI paradressage will be in two parts. The first part to help and classify the riders okay. according to their level of visibility. It's very important to start on the right level to avoid to spend time and energy to change the grades because, as you know, you have mm -hmm. grade one to five, one to five, sorry. And it's important if you classify grade three or grade four to be sure that you are on the right grade to learn the good tests to prepare the the horse for the good test and to be able to compete in your level. And the second one is very important also uh, is the driving. Uh, we want to develop uh, our president FEI. will be very excited yes, about exactly. that way. He say I'm very I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> candidate for, for this. I say of course we, we can start we can probably can start in South Africa to test the format definitely single okay. not of course not not for for, for hands only, I'm relieved to hear that. Only driving. Okay. Only one, one horse <laughs> or one pony. Right? Okay. Yeah. Very funny also, we try to develop an uh, enjoyable, uh, a funny uh, competition, not so strict to open the sport to everybody. Our, our goal is also to make the sport fun, to, to, to propose an interesting and enjoyable sport, pleasure sport, leisure sport, because the sport is a pleasure, the sport is leisure. It should be. You need to stay okay. a game. Yes. Uh, sport is a game uh, and we need to play together. Now, um, another very important program in 23 is a national aid coach education program because we observe the necessity in many regions, in many big countries like South Africa, to support and to improve the education of your national aid coach. Absolutely. Because it's unfortunately not a solution to invite, um, like this case in lots of countries in the world, to invite for a short time a coach from uh, another country because it's never a solution of long term. It's never a long term solution. Uh, you have in South Africa, for example, lots of people able to be a fantastic national aid coach due to their experience, due to their knowledge, their, their uh, technical competencies. And it's very important for us to help your national federation to promote these people on the right level. And the right level is because you need national aid coach knowledge. National aid coach responsibility. Absolutely. We observe uh, in all the big country in the world, you know, speak of Germany, France, England, whatever, that the most Middle East country in the world. Why this country has Great strong training. for different reasons, but one of the main reasons they have all a national aid coach in a long time, or the minimum four years, for certain eight years, to 
we have so having a proper program for the coaches and the national head coach the national coaches the national trainer follow the evolution of the sport follow the evolution of the team uh, why uh, Chris Bartle um, had fantastic result with a great British team and even team you know he had 48 45 rather able to compete the Olympic Games because it worked a long time it's a case I remember in Australia when Wei Rockhoff who was a national trainer during 12 years free Olympic Games the experience is unbeatable that's wonderful I really look forward to seeing all of those programs in action. Tell me a little bit about, um, you were um, very involved in getting the Solidarity Stars program up with Dressage in South Africa. We've obviously got that as one of the awards that is nominated for tonight. Yes, uh, we finance and we support a very important program. Uh, it was a Solidarity, really Solidarity program. The, this program was to help and to involve in, in Dressage um, people, disadvantaged people on different regions. And uh, yes, we, we are very happy to support this program from the beginning because it was really a, a program for, for people who have no the same change than the other mm. one. And uh, we support really well. And now uh, I'm very happy also because this program was realized by South African coach, uh, South African people, and it was a really a, a national exchange, a South African for South African. And we are just finally our little bit supporters, you know. We make, we, we make a wood in a, in a, in a yes. fire, but no more. <laughs> so I think that's the point of solidarity, is to enable countries mm. to educate themselves. Mm. They maybe just need yes. to have that final little mm. push. Um, I obviously am very invested in seeing who wins tonight. How mm. are those results decided? Who, who did the voting? Uh, the voting come from uh, the public, essentially. The fan or the people who have the right to vote. Apart for uh, our committee, our vote, our vote, committee vote also. Uh, I'm, I'm not the right to vote, <laughs> <laughs> of course, because I, I would be not a... Not unbiased. Uh, not unbiased. Mm -hmm. But at, at the end, we are very happy uh, for you, and um, I think I will be uh, in favor of your winner tonight. Oh, good. Your very person. glad to hear that. Jean-Philippe, thank you so much for your oh, time. It's a sincere honor to meet you and to have you here in South Africa. Yes. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be posting some more interviews soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.